my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel and another seven days to die darkness falls video we're on day 32 we have a cow probably a bull more or less yeah that's no that's an actual cow hey we actually have us a cow now um we've let plenty of these go and plenty of them have kind of startled us a little bit so we're gonna see if we can't take out old bessie here look look for the camera oh one shot baby i almost feel bad but then again i don't this is meat free meat and there we go all right so what i'm going to be doing today is a little bit of questing here because that's literally my favorite thing to do here we have to drive all the way back over to the old trader the other trader here the second one whatever to drop off the quest because we can't turn it in over here which is fine no big deal so what i'm going to try to do is see if he has a quest that's kind of that direction but maybe a little bit further we need to venture out a little bit more than what we have uh, to be able to open up some more of the world. You smell of the dead. I smell of the dead. Oh, that sounds kind of nasty. All right, I want to check real quick just to see. Oh, yeah, I can't turn that in here. I was going to check real quick to see if he did have anything that maybe I had forgotten. I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I was going to do. All right, then. All right, on your way. Okay, can you teach me better crafter? Tool crafting for 9,000. Tool crafting, three. Hang on, let me see what my current tool crafting is even at. Tool crafting level two. See, I could spend a skill point on that and buy it. I don't have a skill point yet, but I'm not going to... No, I'm not spending nine grand on that, sir. Not happening. Better recipes, iron crafting. I can already craft iron, so you can't do anything for me. Okay. Let's see what kind of jobs you have. Do you have anything that's north? 1.6 kilometers, clear zombies. Okay, northeast, northeast. 1.6. Let's do this one. Yeah, okay. So we've got to go north to drop off the other uh, thing anyway, right over here. And that was going to put our other one right over here in a spot we haven't been to. Nice. We'll get to a spot in the map we have not seen yet. That will be already then. So we got this town that we live in. We've kind of explored. Nothing really major going on over here. Um, and the other town, we've kind of just half A explored. Initially, my thoughts were, and here, here's, I'm just kind of walking you guys through this here. So initially, my thoughts were, I was going to try and drive. Hang on, I think it's about right here. I was going to try and make it to the opening trade route here. We're on day 32 or 3, whichever one I said at the beginning of the video. I can't see it up here. I don't remember. But I did a marker over here on the desert where I went to last time to get some supplies right there. And I checked it out. It's like... 4.1 kilometers this is further than that it's 4.6 kilometers so it's an even further drive to get over there and i don't even know what's there specifically it could be a whole hell of a lot of nothing but i decided i wasn't going to even bother uh hang on real quick there was something i didn't want to check here okay so yucca is growing yucca is ready to be harvested let's see here if i punch you i got four okay Potato plant, let's see. If I just pick you up, it's not going to do much. If I punch you, I got me four potatoes. So I think my skill is high enough now with the uh, farming stuff that I get more um, stuff from actual punching things than I do just picking them up. Let me drop off a couple things that I don't have to have on me. I did make some more bacon and eggs last night, so I'd have those. Put you and you in there. Grab some gasoline. Put you down there. And we are ready to roll. Day 32, so here in the very near future... Oh, I should probably actually fill this up and get over here in the middle of the mountains and yeah. So here in the very near future, we're going to have to do some work on our base. And you lovely people keep telling me how inadequate my base is and how it's absolutely going to fall. I have some ideas of what I want to do that won't take me more than probably a day because most of the base is still standing from the last one. The only fault we had in the last base really is that we had Sledgy up there trying to keep the uh you know zombies at bay the only thing that got up there was the night stalkers and apparently they don't ragdoll and they don't get targeted by traps and or things like the uh sledgy and so he ran right past them but on the spot where i had sledgy sitting was a half block going up to the window at which i was standing so it changed their path finding them trying to get up to that window so i need, basically need to move him to the other side which he's still not going to target those people but at least I'd have the option for anything else getting up there to get hit. And I did put a uh, flaming mod on the sledgy. So if he does hit anything, can set it on fire. So we'll get the blocks more upgraded than we had this last time. Get them upgraded to at least concrete instead of cobblestone. 
We didn't really take any block damage other than just the one that they beat down to get to me. So that's okay. I don't feel like there's a lot I have to do yet. And um, again, if you're kind of new here, please don't offer too many suggestions. I've had people telling me that when the uh, succubus, whatever that is, shows up that I'm going to wish I had done better in the base. I don't know what the succubus is, but based just on the comments alone, it doesn't sound like a friend. And I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, most of the bad things that can possibly show up, we've not seen at all. So, again, I, I'm totally cool with tips and, you know, little things, by the way. Hey, did you know you could do this? Or, hey, if you make this, it's kind of cool. Those kind of tips are cool, but definitely don't uh, do any kind of spoilers of, by the way, you're going to die if you do this because of this. You know, I want it to be a surprise. That way, when something that's, you know, a... 12 feet tall and has four arms or whatever shows up and starts punching on my base, it'll genuinely scare the crap out of me and it won't be like, oh, that's the thing y'all told me about. Meh. You know what I mean. Anyway, so we are going to just real quick drop this off, get what we need from him, then we'll head over and do this other clear quest. For, I guess there's only particular kinds of quests that you can turn in in any particular trader. I'm not even going to act like I know specifically which ones. I typically only have like one trader I go back and forth with. Thank you, Survivor. You're welcome. All right, what you got? Another baseball bat. I just made one. Give me a Z challenge. Steel ammo. I don't need first aid bandages. I'm good on. Jar of honey. I've got plenty on. So I guess I'm going to be taking the challenge. Only because I get experience for that. There's nothing else you have. I, it's not like I can get any of this and then sell it for something good. So I guess I'll take this. All right. I'm not going to do another job for you just because I have one already I have to do and I don't want to. I was really hoping you were going to let me, you know, be able to turn it into the other player. That SMG auto turret, that could be useful. But, again, I'm going to be running out of ammo real quick. I don't have power and stuff over there, and we haven't even started Thanks, that. Anyways. Yeah, you're welcome. I uh, will do that, sir. Do you have anything that I just have to have? No, I don't think so. I'm not even going to bother with that. I've got food at the house. I need to spend more time in the evening um, preparing meals and stuff like that. I mean, I made... I made uh, steak and eggs because it's just meat and eggs and I found quite a few of them last episode so that's not that big a deal. Steak and eggs is good. It's a nice meal. Uh, steak and potatoes is even better. Or I'm sorry, not steak and eggs, bacon and eggs. Steak and eggs would be wonderful. But I don't have any more potatoes. I used a whole lot of them. I know I could probably plant some more out by the garden. This All of this falls under the to-do list of I really need to do XYZ, I just haven't yet. Where's the turn? Okay, so it's coming right up here. What's screaming at me? Hang on, what is screaming at me? Oh, just some coals. Alright, so it's probably going to be on this last street of... I think this is the last street. Oh, nice, we got a fire station number 7 over here. I don't know that one too well. Is this it right here? This nice little house right here? Oh, crap. Hey, guess what we found? A stupid bird. Screw you, bird. I got other things to do than deal with you. All right, so it's probably on this side street over here. We're just going to bypass all of these idiots. Wants us to go right here. All right, we're going to park out front. Yeah, I see you, you little bastard. Gotcha. Shoot you right in the beak. I've uh, woken up the whole neighborhood because we're not really doing, you know, sneakily. Here, all right, go ahead and read you. What do I need to do? Kill some cheerleaders. All right, well, we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, how far away? That's 700, kilom uh, 700 meters. 700 kilometers. The map's not even that big. Stupid. All right, well, we'll gather up the crap we need to outside real quick because we can always reset it if we need to. Some money! And a trophy. Participation trophy. Let's see what we got going on in the backyard. See if we can't scale the fence. We got a doghouse and what looks like it used to be a dog. Got to keep an eye out. Make sure there's not any actual live dogs back here. One stalk of corn. Just one. You know what? Let's see here. If I if I punch you, what do I get? A little further. Okay, so I got one from punching that. I would have got one from pressing E to pick it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. That made me kind of jump just, just slightly. I wasn't ready for him to come out, but it'd be like that. I'm gonna go ahead and rob your car. What is this? Radiator. See if you got anything good in here. Maybe a nice Pioneer stereo. Some ammo. Just nice. Rawr, you scary zombie. And nothing here. I could take that apart, but it's not gonna do too much for me right now. 
Hey, Charlie. Nut shot for the win. All right, we need... Actually, I'll go ahead and get this backpack here since we are going to be literally right here. Ooh, a little bit of flour. Can make some more bread. Um, I guess I should deal with these idiots real quick. Just so they're not, you know, coming up at me here. So I hear somebody inside. Let's go take girl of a girl. Hey, Sylvia. How are you doing? You're looking pretty good. Pilates is working out for you. Whoops. Sorry, dude. I apologize. You're going to be eating one hand from now on. Hope somebody can help you out with the microwaves. You don't burn yourself. And nothing in there. Okay, let's go ahead and do a reset real quick and see how much it annoys all the zombies inside. I'm sure the zombies are like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> My whole kitchen got remodeled. Uh, helmet in a jar, and if nothing else, I can scrap it. What are the odds it spawned a dog in back here? Hey, come on out. I'm ready for you this time. <laughs> you weren't ready for me. You've been drinking, haven't you? Oh, look at Bam. He's like climbing out the second story window there. I would close the door, but you broke it off the hinges, you moron. Some shoddy shit shells. Not so bad. Not so bad. And some mechanical parts. I think that's mechanical parts. That's electrical parts. You know, you'd think as long as I've been playing this game, I would remember certain things, but no. No, apparently not. Alright, so we're clear on dogs here. We just gotta clear out the zombies. Um, I would go ahead and take this, though, just because I could always use an extra, and that one's free. So, let's see if we can't take out Bam. He's just kind of hanging out there. Oh, that, oh, that looked painful. You alright? And I'll go ahead and take out a knee, too, while we're at it. Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody gonna come falling down the stairs at me? You know what? I'm gonna, just in case, just in case. Anything down there? Uh, okay, so there's a basement. Let's just hope I don't fall in. This is... Actually, I like these hardwood floors. It looks kind of nice. I mean, they're kind of haggard, but they still at least look nice. Nothing here. A little bit of broken glass. Some leather if I want it. I don't really want it. Uh, another place to fall in. Hi. What, you got anything in your garbage? Some duct tape. Alright, so who's back here? Lois... You got to be in the office with you? All right, this is a tiny, tiny little office with no books on the shelves. All right, so I can scrap that and get a little bit of the paper. Anything up here? Oh, hey, what's up? Dude, you need to just back right on up, sir. You overachiever. Get up. You're discharged, Sarge. Now you're discharged. Bastard, come running up at me like that. I'm trying to search the bookcase. Oh, I got it here. Chemistry station, I can scrap that. And a chainsaw. I tell you, this game really wants me to have a chainsaw. Uh, since I have like four of them at home. Let's see, there's a chetty. Is that any better than this? This is a scrap machete. This is a regular machete. So this one's actually considerably better than this one. So I'm going to have to switch over and use that one. Just not right this second. Oh, we got a safe in here. Hold up. Hey... All right, let's see if there's anything in here. We got us a trophy. Oh, I guess I can scrap that down. That's already scrapped down. Come on, something. Anything. <laughs> or nothing. Sure, why not? We don't have any lock picks on us, I don't think. No. So we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. It is ridiculous how fast that is. All for a Skullcap mod? Why would you keep that in the safe? I wouldn't keep that in the dresser. And that's it, huh? Just... Nothing else in here. You got one friggin' bookshelf. Let me go ahead and reload. You're good. Yay, yay, yay. I did get you, right? Yep. Yeah, I didn't get you, though. It's free wood's always good. Alright, so who's making so much noise in here? Oh, he went all to pieces. What's up, beggar? Hey, did you make any coffee for me? Oh, uh, there's a glowing person in there. I see ya. Bam! Both of y'all went down one shot. That'll teach you come busting out at me. Hmm. Hang on. Looks like sounds like somebody's. Hey, it's Jiggles. All right, let's see if we can't hear. Hey, she pooped out a bag. You know the stripper's been pretty nice to us lately. She's been bringing all kinds of goodies. 
Look, she's got vitamins and some money on her. Hey, at least she's trying to take care of herself, you know? she got some cash on her, but she's got some vitamins just in case. You never know what kind of people you're going to run into out in the world. It's always good to have a little bit of extra, you know, medical backup just in case. So good on you. Good on you. And you knock down the door. All right, let's loot this kitchen real quick. Well, somebody started making coffee. I'm going to guess they probably got distracted. They at least put the coffee beans in there. I got some water. Just boil. It's already boiled. Bam. Let's grab you down. And, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go on being able to have some coffee here. But, of course, there's no freaking electricity here. You know what would be really cool? Because this is kind of a new thing in Alpha 19 is these clocks here. It would be awesome if it actually worked. You could, like, put this in your house and keep up with the time. That would be pretty sweet. All right, before we head upstairs, make sure I didn't miss any paintings. I think this door goes... Does this just go into the... Where the hell does this door go? It's probably just a little utility closet, if I were to make a guess. Or a bathroom. That was a completely wrong guess, but sure. Anything in the toilet? Nothing that we want. Yucky. And nothing else in here. All right, so we are ready. This is a closet. It's got to be. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it does it too. Okay, uh, we'll go upstairs first. I have, I have a feeling that upstairs is going to be better than downstairs. I don't ask me why. Got a ton of jars now. Uh-uh. No. That would have been a decent little fall right there. Got anything in the cupboard? Some chili and some nitrate. Good God, there's a lot of rooms in this house. Hello? Check your corners. Nobody in here. Go ahead and check. Come on. You can get it. You get it. It's right there. Let me have it. You can. You can. Oh, it's just a metal. Come on. You can do this. I have faith in you. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> we got it. And then. Okay, fine. I'll do it your way. Are you happy now? All for a painkiller, which I don't even need. I mean, I guess it gives me a little. Sure. I'll I'll just take it. Gives some of that health back up since we got, you know, barely touched earlier. Sarge came up, just unhappy to see us. Scrap you down. Come on, something. A paper. Crap. Okay, that is everything in this room. All right, this. That's Big Mama. See if we can't give her a new piercing. Dang, scared the crap right out of her. Let's see what she had on her. Scared the gunpowder right out of her. You know, Big Mama late, lately has been carrying some odd things with her. Oh, yeah. Come on out. You're the next contestant on getting your face beat in. Oh, you're a feral Big Mama. Hey, back up. No, I didn't. Sh I shouldn't have shot you there. That's just rude. What are you doing in the baby's room? You're probably trying to eat it. Knowing you. All right, is there anybody in this closet? Because you're going to have a bad day if you are. Yeah. <laughs> Teach you to come jumping out at me. Ooh. Some purple overalls. Uh, no. I'm going to just scrap those. I'm sure I would probably look great in overalls, but I'm not putting them on. It's just not happening. The bookcase with... Uh, hey, look. See? I told you, this game desperately wants me to have a chainsaw. At every possible turn, it's like, hey, 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 cap. Hey, did you know there's a chainsaw? I have one for you if you want one. I'm like, I don't want it. Stop trying to force it to me. I have like four of them at home. That looks like Jiggles' shoes. Is she in here? I mean, if if you're if you're in here, just let me know, and I'll uh, I'll come back at another time. I don't want to interrupt anything. I mean, unless I'm invited, you know. But that's neither here nor there, and we won't go that far. What are you, nerdy glasses? Yeah, those aren't too bad. I have several of those at the house, though. Knock, knock. Another bathroom? This house is pretty decent, you know, as far as, like, realistic-style bathroom. There's a lot to this house. I would not mind living here myself. Ooh, two nice wrenches. 57. Wait, this... Are they exactly... Yeah, they are the exact same versus this one. Yeah, we're going to put you down there. We'll hang on to you and go ahead and take you. Because if nothing else, I can always combine you to make you a little bit better. Nothing there. Is there anything out here? Oh, this is where Bam was losing his mind trying to get to me. 
He's out there in the driveway fanboying. Wait, hang on. Um, let me see. I can scrap you. I can scrap you. And uh, I guess I'll take you and I can get the die out of you later. Okay, so we have this room down here at the very beginning has a ladder going up. So this house is even, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's like the Winchester house. It just, for some reason, keeps growing. It's like, who keeps authorizing building onto this house? Some more nar nasty water and some more turds that we definitely don't want to do anything with. All right, so let's see. It was in here. Yeah, we're over here. The hell was that ladder going up? I know I saw it. I why is dang? There's a security camera in the baby's room. What was Big Mama doing in here? Okay, so maybe it was down this way. What the sh? What was that sound? Does anybody know what that sound was? That was very high pitched. This is the room where that was. Okay. What the hell is that noise? Oh God, I'm actually kind of nervous now. I don't know what that is. Ooh, here's the good stuff. Is everybody up here with me? Nobody over there. Here's Big Mama. Try out the old shotgun here that we just got. Well, that worked out pretty good. I don't know what down that what's down there screaming, but I'm honestly a little bit nervous because it doesn't sound like anything. Actually, hang on. Now take that back. I think that's a spider. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a spider. I think I'm getting a little bit worked up over not much. Pipe bomb schematic we can just scrap. A chest that's empty. That's just rude. Paper. More junk. We'll tear all this apart here in a moment. That's that's it, huh? Not There's not much up here. Ooh, a 55 iron axe. We got a 23 iron axe. We'll definitely swap that out here. Go ahead and do this real quick. <laughs> Let me have it. Okay, and bam. Iron, iron. Take you. Modify. Bam, bam. Put you right here. Modify. Bam, bam. Complete. I can actually put more mods on this one. And use that to repair it once we get home. Sweet. It's not the best thing in the world. Don't need that. Don't need that. Can take the plastic with me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And working stiff tool had a more, uh, nice repair kits and another wire tool. All right, let me bust down the stuff that's in here that's useful. I'm stuck on a mattress. All right, so that is everything that's up here. We got to go into the basement now. I'm hoping that spider didn't make it inside. I'm not afraid of spiders in this game um, from a distance. You know, if I can see them, it's kind of like they are in real life. I'm not scared of spiders in real life if I know where they are. If I woke up and there was a big one sitting on my chest, I would be a little bit more leery, you know, just because that would make sense. There's a big freaking arachnid sitting on top of me. I'm just trying to find him slash her. I don't know how to tell spiders apart except for black widows. All right, we need to go into the basement, which is right here. See if we can't keep an eye out for... Okay, that... Yes, that dude's screaming at me right there. I'm going to get down here and he's going to come out. I can, I can feel it. Hopefully not literally. More nerdy glasses? Are these any better than those? Let me see. That's... They're literally the same. Okay, well, if nothing else, I can sell those. I'm pretty sure I have, like, two sets of nerdy glasses at the house. So I'm not super duper worried about having extras. What are you? Butchering tool schematic. Craft hunting knives and machetes. Nice. I like machetes. I have a decent one now. Let me see. Go ahead and read you. Put you back over here. More mechanical parts. Those are actual mechanical parts. I have a feeling there's something in there. Go ahead and make sure we'll just reload it real quick in case we need to do some snappy snaps. Got us a workbench. There's definitely some scuffing, scuffling going on outside. Oh, okay, here, let's see if we can take out Sarge. Bam! Level 36, baby. Okay, somebody's unhappy over there. I would be too. But, well, that's going on. All right, so nothing up there. Let's check the workbench. Nice, another battery. That's not terrible. We'll definitely take that apart. I also realized, I think in the last video, another wrench. Man, okay. So wrenches and chainsaws are the item of the day. All right. Not terrible, not terrible. 
Um, I realized in the last video when I went or video before last, I went through a house and I was like, oh, I'm going to make sure to take apart all that workout equipment before I leave. And then I didn't. And I'm sure, which I, if that video hasn't gone live yet, I'm sure that somebody has made sure to leave it in the comments because you guys are awesome like that. Empty jars, empty jars. How many empty jars do we have on us? 45 empty jars. Eh, yeah, some squishy bits over here. Okay, well, I will definitely come back and get... Oh, man, that would have been cool. Did you see that cool noir-style picture of Big Mama and Red Light? Oh, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. You know what I should probably do just in case. So I have at least a half a second to respond here. Get the shotgun loaded up. If there's anything... In... Oh, it's locked. Okay, we got to... Knock, knock. Okay, I see a battery bank. Is there anybody down here with me? I really don't want to be trapped in this room here. Oh, dude, we have a freaking vault. That is absolutely going to be bad for me if I go in there. I mean, it's going to be good as far as loot, at least I hope. But if there's a vault this far underground, I'm guessing it's probably not full of fun things. And what are you? Just a random block? Oh, okay. Might as well go ahead and bust this down. Free wood and all that jazz. Alright, let me see if there's anything. Let me see. I can modify you, take you out real quick, and scrap you down. That just sounds terrible. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, we're a little bit low on the food and stuff and things. We have... Let me go ahead and use one of those. That'll get that up. Let me get the water up a little bit. And I can probably just use all three of these. That'll combine all the jars. and That'll save a little bit of inventory space, too. We're not encumbered yet. We still have a few more spaces to go. But just in case, I don't want to become encumbered, you know? Got five more spaces here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's tr let's try this just in case. Again, because if things are bad, at least I want to have half a second to respond before. Hello? Is there anybody in there? Hang on. Headlamp off, just so we can... Okay, there's a couple people right there. Okay, Sid. I don't know how he didn't hear that. Yeah. That looks like Big Mama back there. Oh, she's awake. Crap. Okay. Back up, lady. Nice. Dropping loot bags. We cool in here? All right, I'm going to close up for half a second just in case anything decides to come get us. Man, this is one nice fortified area, but holy crap, it sounds like all hell is breaking loose outside. We may have... And that spider sounds like he's literally right outside the door. Well, sir, if you're right outside the door, I hope you die. I hope you get bored and run away. Maybe there's other zombies out there you could go. That screeching sound is... Well, it's a little bit unsettling, if I'm going to be honest. Anything over here? All right, got a couple crates over there. So it looks like the main loot is in this room. Nail gun schematic, nice. What are you? A hazmat jacket, sweet. I think I have the hazmat pants at home. So if we find some sort of place where we have to go um, into the radiated area, we should be okay. I'm not sure how many pieces of the hazmat suit. Probably pants, hat, and jacket. If that was make oh hang on we got us popping pills up here let's bust these crates open real quick we'll have to bust that open and that one's unlocked too sweet we're gonna be uncumbered as balls when we get out of here what are you generic rifle parts uh a regular hubcap and a little bit of iron ammo and some more silver sweet and what did you have in you some glue that's not terrible anything good in here Nothing, nothing bad in there either. Oh, that's got some dye, and that's got some dye. I, I, whoops, I need to take those with me here. All right, did I get everything else in here that's not this one particular gun safe? Okay, well, let's bust in here real quick and see if we can get something good. Easy peasy, uh, shock rod, uh, better machete than no, not better than one we picked up, and some monies. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second. Let me scrap that down real quick. I can scrap this down. I got plenty of those just to kind of keep a little bit of space out of the inventory. Um, a hubcap, I can scrap that down. 
Uh, you, uh, I'll go ahead and use you. It's not like I got bopped earlier. Makes the water go down a little bit. But get the health up. It's one less space. That I definitely need to keep. The one feather, I don't need. Put you right over there. The one chunky thingy, I don't need that. Coffee beans, I don't need that. As much as I'd like a cup of coffee right now, I'm not going to. And I think that's about it. I mean, I know I could put this... Hang on. Let me do this real quick. Put you in there. That'll save a spot. And then put you up here. Okay, so now we're only encumbered by three. Since we gotta, like, book it out of here. Alright, we got everything that was in here. Alright, let me see. Uh, shotgun at the ready. Everything else at the ready. Just in case we have to come come out here. Please don't be outside this door. Ew, it's getting squishy sounding out there. I'm trying to figure... Okay, so there's kind of a... Is that a... Uh, yep, there is. There's that eight-legged freak right there. Yes, it is a reference to an old movie. Okay, well, all of y'all stay outside. I'm going to come outside and run right past you. All gingerly like. Get on my bike, and we're going to haul some balls out of here. Okay, let's put a little distance between me, you, and the house. There, yep, there's the spider. You know what? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff going on over there. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with you. Um, hasta lasagna, dude. Don't get any on you. We need to get back. And I could technically start working a little bit on the base now. I, You know, as much as I don't want to, because there's way easier ways to get it. I wish the desert wasn't so far away. Now, I realize the gyrocopters, some people said that the pieces you need for that are extremely hard to get. That's like late game things. So we're not going to be able to make any quick flights over there to get some shale. So other than just getting lucky and finding some or tearing apart cars to find some, we're going to be SOL when it comes to gas. Basically, all the gas we've got is um, I made a bunch more last night. Uh, we got to stop by and say hi to Sylvia. <laughs> she hit me. <laughs> deserved. Well deserved. I'm not going to lie. So, fuel is something we'll have to keep an eye on. We can always take apart cars. There's tons of them in this world that I have not even, you know, stopped to look at just yet. So, that's at least an option. But, um, we need to be thinking a little bit more long term. But here's the thing, like driving all the way to the desert, which would take up a decent chunk of time, because I've made that drive twice now, to get a balls load of shale would be kind of useful, but it's like, how much gas would I use driving over there versus, you know, not? I mean, you can get what I'm saying here. Like, how much gas would I have to use to get over there and back to get some shale to make some gas? So at some point, it's like diminishing returns. Anyway, let's get back over here and drop this stuff off the trader. Woo, we're going to catch some air. Yeehaw. Uh oh did a nolly. No, it's not a nolly. That's a front end. That's an endo. Yep. I don't know why every time we get going downhill, he always pops up on the front wheel. All right, we can just hoof it from here so we don't have to drive all the way back over and waste just a few precious drops of gas getting back over here. Uh, I need to patch up the base again. It, it looked like during the last Horde Night that we may have had a couple people spawn in uh, inside the base, but they didn't really do anything. People keep telling me what I need to do is just like beat down the stairs. That way they can't get in there. I don't think they're going towards him. I mean, I could be wrong, but Something let's see. You want to buy or trade. Hunting rifle, iron crossbow. We have an iron crossbow. This one is not as good. Claw hammer, leather boots, generic schematics. Well, since you have a bunch of garbage, what can I get and then sell right back to you? Claw hammer for 261. And I guess I'll take the claw hammer so I can just, like I said, sell it right back to you because I don't need it. I have claw hammer. All right, go ahead and take that. Let me I, I sell some stuff to him real quick. Okay, he doesn't have a whole lot on him. See, these Lucky Looter Goggles are just plus 10s. I've already got some Lucky Looters that are the exact same, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see what he has as far as, like, ammo that if I can get. See, I don't really want the armor piercing because I don't really need it just yet. I mean, 7.62 ammo, I've got okay on the mount on that. All right, bought a couple things. A little bit of shale. I bought the one thing of bacon and eggs he had. I bought... 
something else. Oh, I bought all the oil he had so I can I use those for Molotovs. So uh, let me see. We'll go ahead and select another job for you just for next time so I can see what you got. Uh, these aren't too far away. Another clear. Those aren't too. This one's even closer. Northeast. That. Uh, clear zombies is pretty nice. The pharmacy. Let's see. That's going to be right over that way. It's going to be kind of behind our house. Yeah, so put that right up over there. I'm going to go ahead and get a job from him, maybe. See if he's got anything real close by to you. All of his are really far away. All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to get one from you just yet. Do you have anything in you in your inventory I should need here? No, probably not. Okay. You're welcome. I will do that. All right. Well, I was going to work on cleaning up the base a little bit, but it's getting a little bit closer tonight. I've got a ton of crap in my inventory that I desperately need to get out of my inventory cuz it's pretty much full. But I do need to go check See, our base looks good. It just needs a little touch-up. I do need to check real quick. Um, let me see here. Because I this all this land around here is okay. So that's a yucca seed. That's not growing. That's growing. Yucca seed, this is not growing right here. Okay, so I got the water here. But I need to get my hoe. And I need to make some more potato seeds here. Potatoes are working a lot better for me than yucca. Um, do I didn't make any more potato seeds. Do I have any? Blueberry, goldenrod, pumpkin, oak, apple, Yucca, cotton, coffee. I don't think I even have any potatoes to make any... Oh, I do have some potatoes. Okay, let me make... I'm not going to worry about doing my thing real quick. Let's see, potato seeds. I'll make two of you just because that'll help me out a little bit. Put you right there. Let's see, where's my hoe? Where's my hoe at? There it is. All right, let's see if we can't get some potatoes growing. We got just two seeds, not very much, but every little bit helps. Okay, I'm going to make sure you're nice and plowed and ready to be <laughs> planted. Here, put you right there and put you right there. Potato seed, potato seed. All right, well, I'll check back on these in just a little bit and make sure. If it's not growing, what I can always do is dig out a little bit further that way. I'm not sure if it is. Okay, it's potato seed, potato seed, potato seed. Okay, so that should give us three. Um, that's a little bit better than nothing. But anyway, nice little adventure today. Had fun. Got a lot of random junk. A ton of stuff here. I need to go through and organize. I uh, need to swap out my machete for this machete. To repair this one a little bit. Repair a bunch of stuff I have here. But... Right at the moment, I'm just going to kind of hang out and do a whole lot of nothing. But I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.